Okay, so I'm setting up Whiskey Business. Uh, I know it's easy. I've done it enough to know this. Um, it's just change of pace, and I know that it has some weird things with playstyle. Specifically that you are actually playing to counter this scenario, not playing to... Um, not playing how you normally would. So, we need to get all of these in the same spots, grab them all, connect them. Then I need two. Keep that objects, saved objects. One need your tactics two. So I still haven't thought of anything I really want to change with this deck. It's been a big problem with this deck. Um, I keep... I think there's something I need to change. I actually got really wrecked by um, Rhino last night with it. Um, particularly, I got I got killed like turn one as well at one point just by getting three attacks and Shocker because of the... because uh, of under fire. Um, and the fact I couldn't clear the, uh, what's it called? The Breaking and Taken? Yeah, that was, that was an experience. I don't remember the last time that happened. Um, anyway, there's no special setup rules for this one. It's literally just this. Um, and then draw my hand. Okay, so under attack, whiskey business. Make sure this is all pointing at the tabletop sim. Yep, good. Okay, yeah, so under attack, whiskey business. Uh, definitely get rid of that, turn one. Probably get rid of that, turn one. I think definitely that. The Quinn carrier. Uh, the Quinn carrier can be really good, turn one, so we'll keep that. If I can get a resource, it's better than other options. Uh, I don't know if I keep both of these. That keeps him from flipping. That can be quite helpful. Tacrobatics doesn't... Yeah, let's get rid of Tacrobatics. I want to hold on to one so that I can actually <laughs> um, play around with it. So anyway, I'm going to start with this, drawing me a card. I'm not playing that turn one. This should be on Alter Ego. <sighs> I'm not going to play that turn one, so it's literally just what am I going to play from hand. Uh, I think I get rid of the two... Uh, it's real, it feels really bad to get rid of the, both grappling hooks, but I think it's, I think it's the way I have to go. They're too expensive um, to try and get them set up early, and his cards, indiv an individual card is not really that scary. Um, and I'm going to brought to here. Should be able to keep on top of this. I'm more worried if uh, the minions are really, really annoying. Um, it's like guard with four hit points and like a 2-2 two -two with three. Don't want either of those. Um, but I do need a Sane Hero. Okay. Set up that, I can set up that, and I can play that for zero. That's good. Uh, he just places a bunch of things on here. It's not the end of the world. And then, Master Plan. Okay. Probably nothing. Yep, in fact it's exactly two, which is the easiest number for me to remove. I'm gonna go rapid response. Let 
Widow's Bite. Oh, maybe not Widow's Bite. I'm going to play Downtime, actually. I know it's not useful just yet, but it will be useful later. And I should just pay one for this guy. Now, I'm going to attack and remove two from this. Uh, so this is back down to two. This should be on 18. Got to keep that under control. And you have a damage on you. Okay. Five. Both of them immediately. Hmm. And that would let me flip if I wanted to. That's interesting. Two. Uh, uh, yeah, places two back on here. He attacked, so he will attack, which places two on here. That is quickly getting out of hand. It's unusual. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, what can I do with Covert Ops here? Covert Ops costs three. We'll move all of that so I can attack with both of these if I do it. Uh, I have to play it if I flip. One, two. I think I can only afford one of these. Uh, let's attack and fort again. Doesn't really matter which is which. Oh, not fort again. Uh, attack and attack this time. And then flip to alter ego. I spend one to play that. That draws me a card. Okay. I don't really want to spend the squirrel girl right now, but one, two... One, two, three. Gets me the covert ops, which actually means that he doesn't use his ludicrous scheme stat. Um, I cannot. The reason you want to flip into hero and stay in hero is because of this stat, but. Oh, it's only two. Two, that's not too bad. Hmm. I'm thinking of his stage throw. His stage throw's got very scheme. It's awful. You never want it to scheme. Um, but you should be set up by then. Anyway, we go two, one, one, it's not two. Uh, but the important thing here is because of the fact I flipped into Alter Ego, I actually get um, an extra resource this turn, an extra draw, and I actually get to use this safe house. I was not expecting that. This is a welcome surprise. Uh, cool, that goes up to one. We lose the Confuse, and we get one card. Fetch the Villain. It has Retaliate 1. I hate that card. Double energy to remove. Oh, I have double energy. I just don't want to spend said double energy. Let's overpay for a safe house. No, let's not overpay for a safe house. Let's buy an espionage to draw a card. Let's spend one for a safe house, which I will use. To get something that costs two. Grappling hook. set up the grappling hook. Let's flip into hero and let's go one, two energy and an exhaust. 
Ugh. Under attack in heroic is awful uh, because of the exhaust on the attachments. You just don't have the time to do that. It's like this is expert. This is a slow building scenario. It's like you've got plenty of time here, but um, we'll set that up as well. While I'm here, I'm just gonna fought with that. Uh, and you, I don't have my HP. You are going to attack and trigger this. There's four indirect damage. You have three damage on you. Uh, I think I just give one to here and just, no, I'll just take the four. It makes sense because I've got the five recover. Um, it would make sense to stick to three damage if I didn't have five recover, but I have five recover, so who cares? Um, we're all coming back. Didn't get any damage on him, so that can be awkward. But I can sort that out later. Uh, he's attacking me. I'm blocking with Winter Soldier. I am going to cancel that boost effect, and I'm going to cancel him dying. Both of those trigger Widowmaker. I actually get some damage on him. And then I get one card. Schemes. Uh, that will put... Nah, let's just cancel that. Uh, no, because Grappling Hook's expensive. Grappling Hook's expensive. I'll let him scheme. So all it does is take one off here. That's not the end of the world. Uh... Do I want to? I want to attack while I can. I want to attack quite heavily while I can. Resources. I got two resources on the table. That one that can only be used on this. That would let me cycle that card. Let me use these all to... Oh, and there's other things I can do. Okay, cool. Uh, also, I could pull him... I could use that... Pull it back. I want to get the Triskelion set up. I probably want to get the Triskelion set up here. Let's attack. Attack. I don't have the cards to attack with you. Let's flip to Alter Ego. Let's use these two to set that up. Drawing a card. Cycle strength in numbers. I wish I hadn't cycled strength in numbers now. Uh, let's grab that. Have I seen my make the call yet? I have. Okay, let's just grab any old thing back. Let's go... Hawkeye. Interskelion. I know it seems counter to what I was talking about, what I was mumbling to myself about, but there is a reason for this. Um, the reason being, and it's not that I can fought for one, um, the reason being I've flipped into Alter Ego, so now I'm vulnerable to those minions again, those the, the awful ones that are actually in his default set. I don't want either of those to go off right now. So... Uh, and this will help keep them under control. Also, I don't want to have a boost 
card go off without a target acquired on here because under attacks in the deck and it could mess me up. Uh, so that goes away. This flips, goes up to two. That's his scheme. And then I get one card. Exhaust and Surge. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I should have another card. Okay, so that's the second card. And this is the Surge card, which should be before the other card. I'm going to use the two Espionage, because generally speaking, they go off while you're an Alter Ego. It's a bit of a shame, but I'll use them to draw four cards. That seems good. Uh, next card. Place two. Yeah, whatever. That surges. That does effectively the same thing as what an attack would have. These should all be up. Okay, first thing, I'm going to play the Avengers Tower. I know I don't get a huge value out of it when almost everything's already on the board, but... It's, it's alright. Second thing... Uh, there's no point covert opsing. There is a point to first aiding. You removing a threat is the best thing you can do with your stats. Now you just need to hang around until you lose all those tokens, which honestly is probably going to be a full deck cycle. While I'm worried about those minions coming out and sticking, it's not. There's not a lot of them. It's only like five, four. Uh, let's see. I've already got a Widow's Bite. I don't have an Attack of Addicts. Oh, I should have used that one first. Just me a card. I already have one of those. One, two, three, four. No, obviously, I used this before. The rest of those. I'm actually about to get one of these minions that I've been talking about. Uh, should have done this first before I use this stat here. Oops. Would have removed the one for nothing. One. Oh, a lot of point. Ah, oh, there's a little bit, a little bit of point. One, two, three. Play a simp suit. I'm just placing more counters on that. Did I miscount? I think I miscounted. Oh well. Attack with that. Attack with that. Ah, oh, I should have grabbed the card back. Should have grabbed the card back with this so I could attack with him as well. Um, that's four. Yep, we're done. messing up at the moment. Uh, I don't know, I am going to get that. Yeah, I know why I'm going to get that. Um, so, one up there, he attacks, which places stuff here. Then because he attacks uh, and didn't draw a boost card, I get that, um, which I target with that and Widow's Bite. To kill it and do one damage up here, which is actually one damage here. Okay, that's the card. Okay, now, now is the time for things and excitement. I'm going to start by. 
swinging at him with Wonder Man. That triggers the next stage of the scheme. Oh, flips him back to not. I don't know what I was talking about. That triggers him to flip. Um, okay, uh, I'll take the four on here. One, two, three. Play Dance with Death, dropping him down to six. Attack for two. Uh, I can't cancel that unless I say in Hero, which will mean I won't need to cancel it. Hmm. It's probably better to flip and heal, so I can heal and flip next turn. Okay, I got perfect information. I should just work out what I'm going to do. Um, I can grab a up to two cost. Uh, probably just worth grabbing a one cost. Um, there's a widow's bite. I really need to find the star got acquired, so I think I want to flip. If I stay in hero, he loses one stage anyway, and then this comes out with only two instead of three. Nah. Nah, I think we flip. Flip and heal. I can't, you can't fight this on one hit point. There's too much direct damage going on. Uh, let's do this. Grabbing something from here. I'm going to grab... That's not going to matter. Um, Widow's Bite. Widow's Bite's more impactful long term. I'm going to play it. It draws me a card. Two resources. I did not need that, but it's not worth getting rid of. Uh, yep. That's the thing that happened. Let's just start recovering everything. Draw my five. Cool. I can make use of strength and numbers this turn pretty well. This goes up to two. His schemes, we're moving one, pretty sure. Move one, yep. Uh, and then this comes out, which removes more. Flipping this back. Flipping him back. Causing me to want to flip and then attack, if at all possible. Oh, wait. What I could do... Yeah, I like this. So I go one and one to play Squirrel Girl. That deals the damage here. Then I use Squirrel Girl to take a damage here. That flips this. Um, that allows me to take the indirect damage while I'm still in Alter Ego. Then, when I heal, I go up to 7, rather than if I flipped first, I would have been on 5. Now, before I flip, I want to play Target Acquired. I want to keep him in this form, pretty much the whole game, if I can. Uh, let's flip. None of these are really able to be used without a first aid, and I probably want a first aid myself. Let's flip. Let's strengthen numbers. One, two, three, four. I'll take, I'll take that card, actually. Okay, I'm not going to play strengthen numbers again this turn, so let's set up the other one of these. Should have grabbed something back. Uh, let's set up an attack robotics. But I hate these clicky, clicky cards sometimes. Uh, let's set up 
that. Let's first aid myself. I know it probably is better over here, like probably more efficient over on there. The reason I'm first aiding myself is this guy's almost dead. Like I legitimately am flipping him next turn. Easy. Uh, that'll put me to five currently. And that's not a lot. Turns out. Um, so I need to be careful that I don't end up in that range where I can't flip him anymore. Uh, I draw four here. Now, this goes up to one by one. I'm going to actually block this attack with him because uh, I can remove one counter from here. I've got grappling hooks. I've got more grappling hooks than I have target acquired, so let's do that. Uh, so he is. Ah, uh, that takes that deals damage to him. I can deal two more by cancelling that with attack robotics. Let's back up with one. Um, I think I will. I don't think he's long for this world, so he just takes the damage from that overall. Then I get two cards. This card comes out, it's, it's not in Norman Osborn form, so it's just the two. That's easy to deal with. Oh, and actually when this came out, I should have flipped up three cards, which would have been this one, this one, and this one. I would have been able to move two here, and I would have seen that I had a caught off guard that I was about to draw, and it doesn't matter, um, because I actually cancelled the caught off guard. Might as well get a damage while I'm at it, right? So this puts him back to 22, but he's still in goblin form, uh, which means that he deals 4 damage to me. This is what I was talking about with the 5. Now I'm in a much better spot. Um, and they shouldn't be those counters. Not that it really matters. Okay. Now. How... I spent that. Spent that earlier when he died. Can I win this turn? Two, four, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Not with what I got in hand. So let's go for a big play. Two, three, four. I like Dance with Death. Hey, it's a good card. Uh, let's go two, four. I don't play double covert ops. Two and one. For Dance with Death. Drops in by six. Down to 16. Let's attack. Down to 14. I'm going to stay in hero form, so that I still have access to all of these. So I guess I might as well just play this now then. i got one resource there. I can't afford to play any of the cards in hand if I play the Covert Ops. i probably play the Covert Ops. Um, no, it doesn't matter. This is going up to V. He's attacking for star seven. I've got seven cards left, so I'll draw down to five, so that's fine. Um, I need to cancel that. I've got the target acquired to do that. And then this, I can cancel and all its effects, right? Yep, and all its effects. So I can deal... 2 damage off turn. So, because I can deal 2 damage off turn, 
I'm going to actually heal my this guy and set up an espionage. So I draw five. This goes up by two. I didn't shuffle, so we're good. Uh, this is my boost card. Um, oh, I should have attacked. I attacked with myself as well. The two. Um, yeah, so this is my boost card. I cancel its effects. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, who do I block with? Squirrel Girl's the most likely to deal damage. Uh, and I'll cancel its effects. Squirrel Girl comes back into play. Both of those deal one damage each. This comes in, I cancel it, it deals a damage. And there's a reason for all those shenanigans, and those reasons are one, two, three, dance with death, drops him down a three, and then I can just discard and sacrifice Wonder Man for the win. I could theoretically, I think, clear everything else off if I really wanted, but yeah, it's, I'm not going to delay this. Uh, so yeah, it's probably a little anticlimactic. It's not really a surprise that I can beat Whiskey Business with um, Black Widow, particularly Black Widow leadership. Leadership's a strong um, solo aspect. Black Widow's a strong solo character. Risky business is an easy solo scenario. Um, not really a surprise, but it gets me my little tick box. And honestly, it's I'm I've, I'm on early shifts at the moment with work, so I'm just like by the time. Uh, this time of night comes around, I'm just a little, t I'm just tired and don't really want to go for something mentally taxing like mutagen. That would normally be earlier in the day. Uh, speaking of, that is probably my last game for the night. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I am still at a loss for what I'm trying, what I need to do with this deck. In fact, let's bring it up. Um, I'm tweaking this deck. I'm trying to tweak this deck to make it a little bit better. Um, and I feel like it's a little slow. I'm thinking power of leadership at the moment. Uh, I originally thought it might not be that great because there's not a lot of two costs, but there's seven, which means I probably expectation expect about one in a hand and like you can get more. And it's not like it's worse than some of these other options. I actually think make the call probably to get, to gets cut. I, not 100% on that. It's a really good card. Um, I just haven't felt the need for it, and it becomes really dead late game. Um, whereas things like first aid are always valuable, and like any preparation is valuable because it or it may as well have the text uh, on it that it deals one damage, which just makes it slightly more valuable, and most of them are already pretty good. Um, even espionage. Espionage, you know, it's one for one resource-wise, but it's one on, you know, it's like your your pocket change on one turn to make your other to make your future turn like that much stronger. Uh, like I've considered the the other like Hello Carrier in Avengers Mansion, but I don't. That's not doesn't help with the speed, I don't think. It's still slow. Um, at least power of is immediately resources. It's immediate resource gain. And it's exp it's an expensive deck. It's just it's not leadership expensive. It's like overall expensive. Um Yeah, not sure. It's been a bit of a hassle really don't know what to do with it to speed it up with the current card pool um there were i'm sure there were tons of options coming down the line that i could easily take um you know even just what is it team training the spoiler from rise of the red skull 
would be great with this. Um, yeah. Uh, if you want to see what I do with this deck, um, I'm, this, the reason I'm building it is for a future honorary deck within the Alter Egos podcast, so chances are it'll be featured in that at some point. So that is a thing. But spoilers if, for those that listen to the, to the podcast I'm on. But the um, it needs a little bit of work. It need, it, it's obviously reasonably powerful. It was able to beat Ultron first try. It's had no issues with risky business, although there's bad decks that have no issues with risky business. So now on expert, at least I'm. It's not really saying a lot. The um, it ends up in this ludicrous power zone, uh, like the Ultron game kind of showed off, where you're just sitting on like eleven cards. It's not really using them super efficiently, besides the uh, unless you happen to draw, say, two Dance with Death Sender um, and a Covert Ops, which honestly you do a lot of the time, but it's just it needs something to get there quicker. Thinking power of leadership at the moment, maybe some haymakers, so that its late game has more oomph or punch, um, so it can cl close out the game a little quicker. Have less problems with minions. Yeah, that's probably the that's probably the two things to cons that I need to consider at the moment. I'll give them a try. Um, uh, we'll see if I end up streaming this deck anytime soon. But uh, yeah, the, that's that's my thoughts currently after those last few games. Um, the fact that I had to con that I was considering how to deal with those minions constantly. Like if I just put in haymakers, if I mess that up, that would be a fail safe for that. Uh, it increases the cost though, but it does mean that those final turns I don't get I don't get stuck in that situation I was in with Ultron where I just quite wasn't strong enough to actually kill him. So I just kept strength in numbersing, trying to find the dance with deaths. Yeah, we'll see how they do. Probably not more than two haymakers. So two haymakers, two power of leaderships. I don't know what I cut. Really hard calls. Probably some first aids. Probably first aid and espionage. Cut one espionage, one first aid. That gets me half of what I want to do. Uh, target acquired is too useful in certain situations. I don't want to go below two espionage. Maybe I cut all the first aids. I don't know if they've ever mattered. I need to use for, uh, Rapid Response as a first aid and then get the value of the f fully damaged characters using um, Rapid Response. Yeah, that's the correct call. Played what? I, I definitely played some first aids in the Ultron game. I was just kind of like topping up my characters. I don't know if I ever really needed that though. Whereas in the second game, I played it for two hit points, which I still think was the correct call. Maybe the first aid's pull. Get pulled. So that would be. Let's just, I'm just going to do the edits here. Um, I'll test it later, but I'm thinking this. Got two Haymaker. Two power of leadership. That doesn't reduce any, like, it doesn't cut any of the cards from leadership um, that cost two or more. It still gives me insane. It still has make the call as the potential for. The reason I have the one make the call is, is sometimes you get all your allies early and you really need, uh, like, it's unlikely, but maybe you'll get the make the call later. Um, like theoretically, you could get all the allies and make the call early, but um, it it just kind of like evens it out a little bit. 
Sometimes you can like throw an ally and then make the call them later. Stuff like that. Espionage. It's more it's more deck thinning. Ah, <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's more deck thinning, but it's so hard to get them down because of the, just the overall cost of the deck. And I think the Haymaker gives a better um, late game potential and minion clearing potential, as I was mentioning. So, yeah, um, this stream has been about me tweaking this deck. I probably I don't remember if I mentioned that at the start of the stream, but uh, yeah, the, those are the tweaks after those two games. See how they go in the future. I'll see how they go in the future, um, and we'll see what ends up happening with this deck. But for now, uh, I'm signing out. Just see you next week.